Hey everybody, my name is Jamila Damiani and thank you for tuning into my channel, Lifestyle is Key, where I'll be bringing you the South Jersey and Philadelphia region to your fingertips. Now today, we're gonna be discovering one of the nation's historic towns right here in South Jersey, Mullica Hill. Let's go. Let's start with a few super relevant facts about Mullica Hill, New Jersey. As of 2019, Mullica Hill has a population of 3,662 residents. It's located near East Greenwich to the north, South Harrison to the south, Swedesboro to the west, and Pittman to the east. In proximity to Philadelphia, it is 30 minutes traveling via Route I-676 and NJ55 South. If you're traveling from Atlantic City to Cape May, expect to travel a minimum time of one hour and three minutes to maximum one hour and 14 minutes. And if you're looking to visit New York City, one hour and 43 minutes, and to visit the museums in Washington, DC, expect to travel two hours and 17 minutes. And according to the National Association of Realtors, Mullica Hill, New Jersey's median home listing price is $515 to $605,000. If you're from South Jersey, it's easy to recognize Mullica Hill as an antique shopping district. However, Mullica Hill is rich in history, and one of the best places to start learning about Mullica Hill is right here in the Old Town Hall. Built in 1871, this historic building served as the township seat of government for nearly a century. In addition, its downstairs rooms housed a number of small businesses as well as a Quaker school. The second floor auditorium was the site of dances, lectures, graduations, Grange entertainments, and the first services of Mount Calvary Baptist Church. Today, when you come to visit, you will experience not only a museum that preserves the history of their rich agriculture, but you will also experience art exhibits, educational programs, and some of its history by way of antiques. Many structures from this era can still be seen today along Mullica Hills Main Street. Let's take a small tour and visit a couple. One of my favorite places to go while in Mullica Hill is William Heritage Winery. Brunch, wine tasting, and wine on tap. You've got to check it out. Let's zip over to a new business in Mullica Hill where a shopping and events destination is brewing. We are here at the Kinsey House and when I tell you this was a fine, I'm here with the owners today and they're gonna tell us a little bit about your space. You guys, oh my goodness, tell me, what is your names? Who are you? Tell me about your space. Well, welcome to the Kinsey House. So I'm Justin, and this is my business partner and beautiful mother, and you are, you know, introduce Gina. yourself. <laughs> so we are a three-story retail location. We do a little bit of everything. Every room is a different style of design. So there's really nothing that we do or don't sell. And it's been about a year and a half journey just getting to this point, and we're, we're, we're happy to be here. <laughs> is there anything that yeah. you don't have here? We definitely try yeah. to get very unique, yeah. different items that you're not going to see everywhere you go. Yeah. Um, we definitely have evolved. When we first started, we were just going to be antiques with a little bit of gift items. And we just keep finding so many beautiful treasures. So we really try to find unique, artistic things with a lot of local artisans. Also, we have all their goods in here as well. Now, a little birdie told me that you're gonna be doing events soon. Tell me a little bit about that. 
Well, so we, we, it's gotten to the point, you know, that year and a half journey, lots of blood, sweat, and tears. We're, we're happy to be here. Had a little hiccup when we first opened, had to reopen a second time, getting to the Christmas season, where we're just excited to have fun. So we want to start rolling out wine and cheese nights, acoustic nights. I would love to go to do a whiskey and cigar night. I'm a big whiskey and cigar guy, and there's not a lot to do in this area. But we have the space. It's, in, it's an acre and a half of property. Our biggest thing is, before we even found a store, was that we wanted to bring something to Mullock Hill. We've been here for about 12 years, and we really want to bring something to the area that you'd have to either go to Philly or just anywhere else to find. That yeah. is awesome yeah. i can't wait to book my next networking event party here and i'm so serious but in the meantime can i please go and shop now yeah of course yes. yeah. if there's one thing aside from antiques mullica hill is known for it's land Homes in Mullica Hill can range from 2,000 to 4,000 square feet in size and sit on at least 1.5 acres of land. This draws many people who are interested in having not only a beautiful, sizable home, but the potential for a good amount of privacy and a variety of options regarding the use and design of their property. Considering Mullica Hill is a nationally recognized historic town, you'd be very surprised to learn that newly constructed home cells have surged. You should check out this one right here. And speaking of designing your property and using it to its fullest, I thought I'd meet up with my friend Stephen Blanda of Bland Escaping so he could give the viewers some tips and advice regarding landscaping. All right, hey, it is so good to see you. You as well. Awesome, well, I know you, but can you please tell the viewers who you are and what it is that you do? Well, my name is Steve Blanda. I'm an owner of a small landscaping business that operates out of Woodbury. Awesome, and how long have you had a landscaping business? We are going into our fifth season this year. That's really awesome. So I know we've had the ability to talk before, and some of the things that we talk about are obviously landscaping, but you said you saw some trends in regards to um, landscaping and, and people relocating from city to South Jersey? Yeah, so um, you're gonna find a lot of people moving into the suburbs from cities, uh, places with small properties or no property at all, or very little landscaping. Uh, they're gonna come in, they're gonna fall in love with a home, but before they put a bid out on a home, they really should assess the landscaping situation and maybe their annual costs on what it's gonna take to upkeep that landscaping. When you say they really should think about the home that they purchased before putting in a bid, what exactly does that mean? So they're gonna look at the landscaping, it's gonna be beautiful, they're gonna love it, and it's, it's gonna help them buy the house. However, they do need to factor in how much money they're gonna have to spend per year to keep that up if they're not gonna do it themselves. In regards to uh, homeowners who would like to sell their home, do you have any tips for them in regards to attracting those home buyers with curb appeal? Uh, basically keeping up your landscaping in general, keeping it tight and clean. If you have existing landscaping that looks decent, work with that. Okay. The little things like flowers, inexpensive ways to boost some color. If your landscaping is older, if you have gnarled shrubs, half dead, you may want to pull them out, at least in the front of the property, where your photos are going to be taken, and that's the first thing that people see when they look at the house. Uh, replace it with simple shrubs, but you don't want to invest too much if you're selling the house. You probably won't get your money back in the sale. Steve, it's been a pleasure. Me Thank too. Thank you so much. <laughs> you're and welcome. I, I look forward to referring you to my clients. I look forward to that too. All right, take it easy. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to my channel, Lifestyle is Key. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss our next episode featuring the lovely town of Cherry Hill, New Jersey. If you're looking to learn about what Malika Hill has to offer before relocating, please visit these few links provided for you in the description below. Until next time, Chivri Amo Presto, that means talk to you soon. Ciao.